What is up everybody? I wish I could skate right now, but currently I can't because I actually got an injury. This man crying like a little bitch. So I did hurt my foot. I will show a picture uh, so you can like turn your head real quick if you want to. Uh, it's not that nasty, but what happened is I was at Defy Gravity, right? Which is a trampoline park. And I was just doing some obstacle. It was the most stupid obstacle ever though. That's why I'm kind of mad about it. It was this thing where I just jumped like to left and right on these little pads, right? But when I jumped on the third pad, my left foot actually swung around and it hit the side of the pad really hard. Cause there's cushion at the top, but it was really hard on the side. And I just slammed it up against that. And I guess there's just so much force and friction that I just took off a bunch of skin. So that really sucked. I, so I can't really skate right now because if I skate, if the board lands on top of my foot, it's gonna hurt and it's gonna take longer to heal. So I just wanted to heal up a little bit first and then soon I should be skating. So before I actually go into the main reason of this video, I did post something on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, it's SeanBrown99, so make sure you follow me on Instagram. I posted a Q&A, so people ask me questions and I'm gonna answer a few of them in here and then I'll get to the main point of the video. Okay, so the first question comes from Lil Socks 765 and they said, any tips for heel flips? Love your vids, by the way. Shout out Social Skate. Uh, thank you. And I would say for heel flips is the main tip is that you have to lean back behind your heels. Because the reason is every time when I try heel flips, I would always like jump in front of the board pretty much. So the board always land behind me, even when I got the flick. So that was the main problem. So as long as you like lean behind your heels, like that way, not towards the tail, but behind your own heels, then you should be able to stay over it when doing that. Thor Parker says, if I punch myself and it hurts, am I weak or am I strong? Um, it's a good question. It's a good question. I would, I would say if you're weak if it hurts, because I feel like if you build up enough muscle and like you punch yourself and it hurts, then like you should be able to take in more impact. So I don't know, I'm gonna say weak. Fisa Bai says, why do noses run but feet smell? That's a good question. I don't got an answer for you. Evan Not Skate says, what's the biggest stair set slash highest drop you ever ollied? It is a six stair, and I also ate crap on that stair too. <laughs> Daniel M16 says, what is the secret to getting bigger? Both ways. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even gonna answer that. Victor Hacks Hold T, I don't know if I said that wrong, I'm sorry. But they said, what goes through your mind when you commit to a trick? Honestly, when I'm trying to trick, I just get to a point where I'm just like, screw it, I don't care about anything, I'm just gonna go for it 100%, and then I just end up doing it. And then when I end up committing, I get more confident with my tries, so I end up actually uh, like getting closer to landing it um, when I'm committing. So once you just stick your feet on there, you actually realize how easy it is. Kalib X Brewer says, what's one trick you want to learn badly? Honestly, I've been thinking about doing a fakey front lip slide on like a flat bar, but I really wanna try that right now, but I can't because my foot, so as soon as my um, foot heals up and I get to like a flat bar or something, that's the, probably the first trick I'm gonna try. Steven Krellen says, coming to LA, and then also Lil George.650 says, when are you coming to the Bay Area? So I actually already went to LA, so that was actually really fun. You can check the series out in the top right corner here. Uh, I just, I, like I met Chris Chan, I went to LA, uh, Venice Beach, and I think it's Southern California. So I went mostly around there. But for the Bay Area, I actually do wanna check that out soon, so either, this summer or sometime soon. I don't know exactly when, but if I ever go, I will let you guys know. The last question is from Marzet.9 said, how did you and your girl meet? So it is kind of a long story, but not really at the same time. So I met her when I came for training for this job as a resident advisor here at UNC Charlotte. And she is a desk assistant. I actually had her in my uh, dorm tour video, and that's before we were dating, so. These are our wonderful DAs. You can introduce yourself if you want to. I'm Kiki. Right there, like, I didn't necessarily like her yet, but I was like, fond of her, so. I don't really know how to explain it, but like, I, there wasn't like a full liking towards her yet, because I didn't really know her, like I was just meeting her. So basically, what happened is we just kept talking, and then as we talked, just more flirting happened, and it just led to that. Like, I didn't really, like seek her out be like, oh, she's gonna be my girlfriend. So she did send the message clearly. I was sending mixed messages, honestly, because long story, technically we're not supposed to be dating because she lives here, but since she like also works here and she's not technically my resident, then I had to talk to my supervisor about it. And long story short, it got approved. So happy about that. <laughs> so yes, thank you guys so much for asking those questions. Now I'm gonna get into the main point of the video. 
Also, quick update. Uh, after coming back, I actually turned my bed into a king size bed. So, pretty hyped on that. So, the main point of this video is I actually developed a list. It's called the 2019 Bucket List of Randomness. And this is a whole bunch of random cool things that I want to learn by the end of this year. So, one of the things when I was at Defy Gravity, I actually learned how to backflip because for the longest time, I was so scared of it. I don't know why, because when I did it, it was actually very easy, so. I learned it in under a minute at Defy Gravity. I had like five minutes left uh, for my session. I'm like, you know what, screw it, I'm just gonna go for it. And I land it in under a minute. So literally, if you skateboard, uh, you'll kind of just learn along the way because you kind of have that progression mindset. So like, as long as you keep trying something, you're eventually gonna get it. And as long as you actually just try really hard and commit to it don't kind of like half-ass it so and there's a whole bunch of other things that I want to learn on my list I'll actually show the list here it's not fully developed yet I want to also keep adding on to it just in case I finish the list too early so what I want you to do right now is comment down below some things that I could add to the list and I'm gonna say try to keep it non skate related if you can just because I already have like the mindset of learning skate tricks so like just kind of keep it really random like it doesn't have to be crazy but just maybe some random ideas that possibly I haven't done. Also, let me know if you all want to see the videos like this as a series. My original idea was just to stack up the videos kind of like as a secret a little bit and then make a whole montage at the end of the year. But if you guys want to see this kind of like as a series um, and then a montage, just let me know. So make sure you comment that down below too. So if you can leave some ideas in the comments down below, I really appreciate that. Otherwise than that, I'll show the clip of me learning how to backflip. Do backflip. Doesn't matter. Wait, I'm, I'm gonna try it, okay? Yeah. Wait, did you? He's got six minutes. He's got six minutes? Wait, it's an hour and a half an hour. I think it's hour. Yeah. Yeah. Sketchy. Hey! What are you doing? Oh, I'm dedicated to Kiki. Clean it up. Clean it up. Good one for Kiki. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Woo! Sketchy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright guys, so today, that was my first backflip ever. I'm telling you, it is easier than you think. I was so scared of backflips, I saw I had five minutes left in Defy Gravity, and I was like, you know what, I gotta try it. Alex really pushed me to do it. And, yeah, and I got everybody else to do it once I did. The thing is, I would say, if you're really scared like I was, try like some small diagonal flips and use your hands to support you, and that will get the feeling away. After that, literally just jump straight up, don't lean too far back, maybe just like a snudge and then just tuck your knees in. It'll literally just throw you over, trust me. As long as you keep your knees tucked in, you're gonna be thrown over. And then, boom, you got it. I'll tell you guys, I was really scared to try it at first, but I ended up getting in the end. Boom. Number one thing off my 2019 buck list, done. So, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Um, the backflip was actually really easy. I just wanna motivate you guys. If you're scared of backflips, just try it, um, but also be safe, too, because if you do it improperly, then you can hurt yourself. So even get like a spotter just to like throw your uh, feet around just to help you if you ever go to like a trampoline park or if you have your own trampoline. So if you're ever nervous, I'm telling you guys, I was so scared of the backflip. I just told myself, you know what, just go for it. I just went for it and I actually got it. So as long as you just try it, like most of the times when people don't backflip it's because they're not actually trying. Like I would always like just like, like kind of like throw my head back and be like, no, I can't do this. But when I actually went for it, I got pretty close and that's what gave me more confidence to keep going. So just make sure if you want to backflip, just go ahead and go out and try it. I'm telling you, you'll be so happy when you actually land it. Otherwise than that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll be skating soon. If not, then I'll have some more things from my 2019 bucket list if you guys want to see that kind of as a series. So thanks again for watching. Peace.